What happens to the tension in the bolt and the connected parts when the bolt is pre-tensioned? What happens in the presence of external loads? How and when do the bolts fail? All these questions will be answered in this video. When the bolt is pre-tensioned, the bolt will have an internal tension that will exist even without the application of external forces on the connection. The tension results in a compressive force between the connecting flanges. As a result of the tension, the bolt will elongate and the flanges will contract due to the compressive force. At this stage, the tension in the bolt is equal to the compressive force in the flanges. If the bolt is not pre-tensioned, and was only installed to a snug tight condition where the nut is tightened only until there is no gap between the flanges. It is assumed that there is no tension in the bolt and therefore no compression in the flanges. In the presence of an applied external force F, the tension in the bolt will be the sum of the compressive force and the external applied load. And while the flanges remain in contact, the amount of elongation in the bolt is equal to the amount of contraction in the flanges. The expressions for the change in the tension of the bolt with respect to the amount of elongation and the relationship between the change in the compressive force between the flanges and contraction in the flange is shown. The ratio between the change in tensile force in the bolt and the change in the compressive force between the flanges can be written as follows and because the elastic modulus of steel is almost the same for the bolt and the flange and the amount of elongation in the bolt is equal to the amount of contraction in the flange, the ratio can be rewritten as such. The cross-sectional area of the bolt is much smaller than the surface area of the flange and the length of the bolt is much larger than the thickness of the flange. That is why the change in the tensile force due to the applied external force F is much less than the change in the compression between the flanges. This means that most of the force goes into relieving the compression between the contact surfaces. This makes pre-tension bolts superior for fatigue because the stress range is really small. As F increases, the tension in the bolt slightly increases and the compressive force decreases until it finally vanishes. At this point, the tension in the bolt is equal to the applied external force. If F increases even further, the flanges will separate and the tension in the bolt will continue to increase until it eventually exceeds the maximum tension allowed in the bolt, which can be found in the AISC construction manual table 7-2 for different grades and diameters of bolts. That is why when designing bolts for tension, whether pre-tensioned or snug tight bolts, the tension in the bolt is assumed to be equal to the external applied force. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching.